I'm Paul Levinson, and welcome to Light on Life through episode 303, my review of Night Sky, which I just finished binging last night on Amazon Prime Video. It's another travel to other worlds narrative that does this not through spaceships or time machines, but via some kind of conduits or portals built by some interstellar or intertemporal civilization. Out of Range did a good job of this with a time travel hole out on the range. Night Sky does this with a portal to another world in a shack in the backyard. And this story is lifted immensely by two peerless lead performances by J.K. Simmons as Franklin York and Sissy Spacek as Irene York, an aging married couple in the fictitious town of Farnsworth, Illinois. And there'll be spoilers ahead. Let's start at the end of the eight-episode season to see what I think we know. As Irene demonstrated pretty early on, the alien world outside their window comes packed with oxygen. That's why she and Franklin survived at the end, and their neighbor Byron likely did too. The body that we saw with the knife sticking out of him was likely the guardian that Jude killed in his escape to our planet and why he was all bloodied with somebody else's blood when Sissy first took him in to her and Franklin's home. Actually, I said Sissy. Her name, of course, is Irene, but I keep thinking of her as Sissy Spacek. Okay, what else do we know? There are apostates who escape guardian control. Jude is an apostate. Stella and Nick are guardians. And there are also guardians who have left that role and help apostates, or at very least, don't hunt them. Hannah, played by Sonia Walja from Lost, Flash Forward, for all mankind and many more, she refers to this third group, of which she is a member, as the, quote, fallen, unquote. So we have a nice setup of characters and allegiances. Let's get back to the portals. They connect different parts of the earth. Characters use them to travel instantly from Mexico to Newark, New Jersey, and from Farnsworth to Bangkok and Earth to at least one other planet, the one that has oxygen, and some kind of little city not far from its side of the portal. Whoever built them did that as long as several hundred years ago. There's a sketch of a door to a portal in Argentina that dates back to the early 1700s. The personal story of the Yorks is touching and powerful, all the more so because it is brought to life by such brilliant acting. The other characters range from interesting to compelling, and that's a good range for a series like this. Denise, the granddaughter, well played by Kia McKernan, was especially effective in her story, starting to go down the same troubled path as her father, rescued by Jude, her knight in shining armor. Questions remain. What happened to Byron? Where is Jude's father? This all adds up to a memorable series, Creds to Creator Holden Miller, which would be well served by a sequel, which I'd binge a day or two after it was released, just as I did with the first season. By the way, my wife, not generally a fan of science fiction, really enjoyed this too. And I hope you enjoyed this review of the complete first season, which I binged of Night Sky. 
I'll be back here soon. Let's see. There are new episodes coming up of The Man Who Fell to Earth and The Time Traveler's Wife. I'll be watching and reviewing both of those, and we'll have a lot of exciting reviews and interviews coming up in the weeks and months ahead of this podcast, Light On, Light Through. In the meantime, stay safe, stay sound, and keep doing whatever you can to get those vicious, depraved Russians out of Ukraine. Help get the Ukrainians free from this constant, incessant Russian aggression. The Light on Light Through podcast. Athens, 2042 A.D. She ripped the paper in half, then ripped the halves, then ripped what was left, again, into bits and pieces of history that could have been. Sierra Waters had read once that, years ago, it was thought that men made love for the thrill, while women made love for the sense of connection it gave them. Curled up with a good book says, Sierra Waters is sexy as hell. You can find out more about The Plot to Save Socrates by Paul Levinson at theplottosavesocrates.com. Paul Levinson still codes about an ancient biotech war raging on in secret for centuries.